Welcome back. Junior Rock is up next. And earlier, I caught up with a man who's making his first appearance in the championship this weekend. Brooklyn, first time in Junior Rock this weekend. You've had a podium yesterday already, so it's yeah. been a good start for you. But just tell us a little bit about your history. You've not been karting that long, have you? No, um, I started Junior TKM like a year ago. And it's my first time out in uh, Junior Rock this weekend. And what's the differences between the classes then? Uh, well, Junior Rock's got like really sticky tyres compared to um, Junior TKM. And uh, yeah, and it's a lot faster. Yeah, a lot faster, a yeah. lot heavier as well. Is it? Yeah. Is it more? It takes more upper body strength, I think, to handle it. Yeah, it's um, so you can go in the corners like a bit faster as well, and yeah. Okay, and Shennington this weekend got much experience here. Oh uh, yeah, I've done a few uh, rounds here in Junior TKM, and some in Miami Cadet, which I used to do a few years back. Yeah. Okay, so podium yesterday. Are you hoping for the same today? Oh uh, yeah, maybe a pull would be good. Pole and a win, that would be nice. Yeah. Okay, well, good luck. Thank you. Well, we wish Brooklyn Thomas all the best. You just never know in Super 1, anything can happen. Will Alton and Dylan Hodgson on the front row of the grid from Brooklyn Thomas and Ben Doughty. Kieran Pepper and Isaac Lord make up the third row. There may only be half a dozen, but it's Junior Rock, it's Super 1, and it's Shennington. Expect excitement. Here we go, blasting down to the first corner, charging through the left-hander and up towards Cafe, and already a very strong start from Dylan Hodgson, but not enough to overhaul Will Orton as they go through Cafe. Look, he's already blasting away. Hit the subscribe and like button and you'll never miss a moment of these Super 1 campaigns. It's going to be an interesting one from Dylan Hodgson. Oh, a big lunge on the inside from Thomas and hitting the... Oh, oh goodness me! Just clipped the barriers there on the outside. Those tyres on the outside line over the kerbs there, Ben Doughty. He was lucky to get that away. Ben Doughty was very lucky not to end up up the bank. We've seen carts go uh, driving up the bank, literally, when they clip the tyre on the... Uh, uh, at the end of those uh, that row of tyres and uh, it spins the cart round and up the bank they go but uh, Ben very lucky to get away with that he's gone through the line in fourth place it could have been out of the race well Will Orton having an incredible season races in Junior Rock in Super 1 races seniors out in Europe of course as well having an amazing year here goes the brilliant move from Thomas on the inside of the Stratford hairpin and he gestures to Dylan Hodgson behind. Come on, go with me. I'm the man with the pace here. Here's the old push signal, <laughs> the old standard. He's been watching Super 1 videos for years. This is where they learn. Yeah, come on, push me. Let's get after the leader. Yeah, push me. I don't want to push you. But Hodgson, I've got a feeling, will have other ideas. He'll want to get that second place back as soon as he can. He's not going to be content just sitting there. But uh, they can't start messing around defending because they're just going to take time off each other and allow the leader, I say the leader, Will, Will Orton. He's got a transponder issue, obviously. His transponder doesn't look like it's working, but it is Orton, I can assure you, up front. It's Thomas and Hodgson second from Doughty there, closing in in fourth place. And now he's sort of recovered from that uh, nearly off out of uh, Stratford hairpin. And in fact, there he is on the 28, getting much closer. 55 is uh, uh, Kieran Pepper and then Isaac Lord in behind. I have to say, Ben Doughty's recovery is pretty astonishing considering he very nearly chucked it into the chicken house on the far side there. That was a very good recovery. And he is there in fourth position. And look, he is actually gaining time on Thomas and Hodgson. Hell for leather. He's using that mistake, that moment, and going, right, there is no better ammunition then frustration, then that red mist, and he is charging hell for leather to try and catch up to these two in the hope that if Orton just disappears out in front, which is definitely looking likely to be doing at the moment, if these two hold each other up in their bid to close up, then Doughty's got a chance yeah. to close up. He's well, doing look, it. Look at the time, 1.072. Let's see how far behind he is as he goes across the line. He can certainly judge what he's doing on their braking, where they're braking, where they're slowing down, where he needs to brake. So it should allow him to get that much closer but again this is a great battle that's Orton out front transponder not working from uh, Hodgson uh, it didn't close at all Ben Doughty on that lap that's Isaac Lord pictured rookie season he's running in P6 see Will Orton is just cantering away into the distance despite the difficulties with his transponder Dylan Hodgson though is actually the fastest driver on the circuit he's gone purple on that last lap so he is trying desperately to gain the ground and momentum back on Brooklyn Thomas. But he's got to be careful here. He doesn't want to get into hot water. Like and subscribe, hit the notification bell. And every time there's a new race upload, you will get a notification. 
and you'll be able to sit back in comfort and watch the best car action in Britain. Here we go, over the line again, and it's still Orton stretching out that advantage to Thomas and Hodgson. You've got to say, for Brooklyn Thomas in particular, this is a stellar performance to come into the championship for the first time in the season finale yep. against drivers who have been here all year long and be up in the top three on merit without accident. This guy's absolutely a contender for the future. Yeah, he's not that far behind the leader and he's in front of a man who's very quick himself, Dylan Hodgson, top quality driver. Doughty is as well. He's not closing the gap though, Doughty, 1.2 compared to just over a second earlier. So he's lost about a quarter of a second on these two. He won't, won't want that gap to get any larger than that. He'll want to try and close it, but it looks like he may be having some issues. Four different team setups in the top four places. For Litchfield Motorsport up front, it's Will Orton. On the M Sport Racing squad card is, of course, Brooklyn Thomas. Then it's the Cato Motorsport man. Cato Adams will be delighted. Dylan Hodgson pushing very hard there in third position, trying to get into second place. And then it is the Mark Baines Motorsport man, Ben Doughty, who was there in fourth position. Very indicative of just how competitive it is in Junior Rock to have four different operations in the top four places as they battle away for position. But obviously, it's always going to get more and more exciting as the Junior Rock and uh, the Rock relationship in... Uh, in its entirety develops with Super 1 through the years. The grids are growing for the 2020 season. We hear that there are positive signs for an even bigger campaign in the 2020 season as the Rock engine is now well embedded in the Super 1 paddock and it's uh, going to be a very strong relationship as they continue to work together. Yeah, somebody asked me recently, is, what's happening with Super 1 next year? Is it still, is it still going ahead? Absolutely, it's still going ahead. It's going to be much bigger next year. Make no mistake, it will be bigger next year. All, everything's on the table for next year, by the way, as well. British Championships, you know, nobody knows what is happening uh, down the road. So who knows what will happen in discussions that happen over the winter? Nobody knows, basically. But there's no one thing's for sure. Rock is here and it's here to stay, no doubt about it. So with six minutes and nine on the clock, Will Orton holds this advantage despite having a faulty transponder. It looks like it has well and truly stopped working, bless, uh, for Will Orton. That's not going to take him away from the victory, though. They will uh, add him back in, of course, manually after the race. He will be able to keep his position. Uh, then it's Brooklyn Thomas in second from Dylan Hodgin, Ben Doughty, Kieran Pepper and Isaac Lord. Uh, those latter two, by the way, are just falling away from the battle. But this is a fascinating little tussle here. D Brooklyn Thomas and Dylan Hodgson still line astern. Brooklyn Thomas has now gone faster than Dylan Hodgson in order to start to lead the charge to Will Orton. But Will up front, you can't underestimate how much of a class act Will Orton is. He represented Great Britain in the FAA Karting Academy Trophy. Yep. He's been one of the top three drivers in the Junior Saloon Car Championship Scholarship. He's been one of the standout performances in the IAMI Euro Series uh, out in Europe. This kid's got amazing talent. Uh, and that was in his first year as a senior driver, not as a junior driver in Europe. You know, he's got amazing calibre, Will Orton, and it's no major surprise to see him dominating here out front. Yeah, we were talking about Ty Cuthbert in the Mini Rock race and the fact that Ty, although he's down the field at the moment, is a very inexperienced driver. As an inexperienced driver who's not winning anything, he represents a brand really well. He really does. And you could say exactly the same about Will Orton. He's a very smart young man, speaks very well, is always very smart when it comes to the podium for his interviews, always has something to say. And that is what sponsors are looking for. Will this person represent our brand well? Not, is this person going to be winning all the time? Yeah, I know sponsors like that. But it's one of the reasons Jensen Button was a sponsor's dream. Yep. He sponsors fell, fell over themselves to have uh, to sponsor Jensen Button because although even when he wasn't winning all the time, he represented their brand really well. Yeah, when you enter the paddock as uh, a, a commentator for a top level series like Super One or out in Europe or in the national championships or whatever, there's always a list. Uh, of drivers I, I'm expecting will accost me you know there are some great characters in the paddock some are really really bouncy and full of vibrance and charisma there are some shy ones who are very very quick and talented but there's there's a list in the back of my mind I know who I'm going to get stopped by at some point over the course of the weekend Will is always one of those drivers he will always come and find me and let me know how things are going he'll tell me in great detail and recall how things have been going on the Friday leading up to the weekend when they've done testing on track he is one of these guys who's definitely going places and I have a feeling that 
you know, as he develops through the motorsport world, if he were to go on to the FIA karting world for one of the big manufacturers, he would be a dream for them because he's got such an analytical mind. He's going to be one of the uh, characters, a bit like the likes of Jordan Brown Nutley or uh, uh, Ben Hanley, who went on to the senior karting scene out in Europe. They, they've just got this analytical ability to develop a chassis, to develop tyres, to develop engines. The kind of person who's so good at detail, so good at recall. Will has that calibre and quality. And looking at Brooklyn Thomas, the way he's handling Dylan Hodgson in his first weekend, he's looking like it could be another one. Yeah, absolutely. Ben Doughty not getting any closer now, two and a half seconds behind. So Ben looks like Ben's got a few issues. And Dylan Hodgson. Here we oh, go. Here so I was going to say, I'm surprised he's not gone past, but he goes past now. So through to second place. But uh, I don't think Brooklyn Thomas is going to have that for very long. He'll want to get that place back. I was just going to say, this isn't going to be the way he's going to settle for it, is he? Dylan Hodgson threw into second position. Oh, it goes very wide. That's determination to get away, isn't it? He was pushing a little bit harder through Cafe, perhaps than he needed to. But now he's got through. He's bolted the door. He's charged his way through it. Now he wants to open up the gap. He is desperately trying to find that extra little bit of speed and pace to drop Brooklyn Thomas. He doesn't want to think about him again for the rest of this race, Dylan Hodgson. He's there in second position and he's already built a couple of cart legs. But if I know Brooklyn Thomas's performance over the course of this weekend, he's not done yet. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell, guys, and we'll uh, send you a message each time we upload new content. Jake and I are planning on doing, I've just done a, a cart show live, Jake, just before we started this commentary. And uh, we're going to be doing uh, another one at uh, the end of the season, looking back on the season, talking some nonsense. <laughs> People can uh, tune in, ask us questions. I'll be delighted to join in for that because it's been a very busy season in terms of uh, karting over the course of the year. You know, when you when you look back on the last 12 months, there's it's been super one. It's tumultuous yeah, what's I mean, happened. My, my, my year's just gone crazy in terms of the karting world. We've had Super 1, we've had the IRB Euro Series, the Dubai O-Plate, the FIA karting, both in KZ and OK. There's so much to talk about. It's going to be great. But I should, on behalf of all the viewers, no doubt, Jake, congratulations on your appearance at uh, the Silverstone F1 Grand Prix. You were doing some stuff in the paddock. Uh, on the uh, online feed, I know, and then you commentated on uh, Formula 3 in the Porsche Super Cup, and you did a fantastic job. And, and I have to say, it's long overdue, and hopefully there'll be more coming from it. That's very kind of you to say, buddy. Always been uh, a pleasure being here. And every, I, I still I'll go, all the, I'll go all the way back to that first meeting, 2012 Super 1, yep. Lark Hall in Scotland, <laughs> uh, getting myself wet behind the ears very, very quickly and feeling very much at home. Uh, very quickly and uh, I have to say I'm so glad that that umbilical cord has not quite been severed yet I'm still absolutely loving you're it still here. oh yeah still, still loving it I've still got you on a short leash you're gonna you're gonna rip that microphone really? from my cold dead fingers I think <laughs> before you replace it I'm absolutely loving it still it's uh, Will Orton uh, out in front just charging away do not let that timing screen fool you he is still leading the race but he's got an issue with the transponder and this is going to be the race that cements him as the first ever Super 1 Junior Rock Champion of Great Britain. He's done an absolutely fantastic job so far to keep it together. Uh, Dylan Hodgson there in second position in front of Brooklyn Thomas. He has now cantered away. So a fair effort from Thomas. He held on for a long, long time in front of Dylan Hodgson. But this man, Will Orton, is going to have just one more lap to dance around the Shennington circuit, flatten the throttle, and then he's the Junior Rock Champion with a ticket to the big show. Exactly, he's winning a ticket to the World Finals, basically, the World Rock Finals. And uh, that's going to be very interesting to see how he performs out there because, make no mistake, this is a small field. That will be a huge field out there and also at the uh, Las Vegas event as well. I'd love to see him go to both events, frankly. And uh, could he win it? Yes, you've absolutely no doubt he could win it. Well, judging by the level of competition he's been racing up against in Europe this year as a senior in his first campaign in Europe and doing as well as he has done, he's definitely got a good chance out of the final turn. And Will Orton knows that with this win and this dominant performance, he is the Junior Rock Super 1 champion of 2019. Hodgson across the line in second from the new boy, Brooklyn Thomas. You haven't heard the last of him in Junior Rock in Super 1. In 2020, he will be back and he's a championship contender already. Dylan Hodgson and Brooklyn Thomas join Will Orton on the podium. From Ben Doughty in fourth position, Kieran Pepper and Isaac Lord finishing off the race in the top six. Will Orton is your 2019 champion. Fantastic weekend for you. Uh, just talk us through that last final. 
yeah, I managed to get a bit of a gap at the start um, and just pulled away from there, really. Our tyres were... I managed to save them in the last few races and it paid off then. OK, who do you want to thank for your weekend and your season? My mum, my dad um, and just everyone that's helped get me there. OK, well done. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Finally, he takes the deserved Super One Championship he's been after for a few seasons now. Will Orton beats Dylan Hodge into the flag. Ben Doughty is third in the point standings from Kieran Pepper and Isaac Lord. The Junior Rock King is Will Orton, and rightfully so. And when he heads out to the Rock World Finals in Italy, and then on hopefully to Las Vegas as well, he's going to be a bit of a diamond in the rough that could charge to win the whole thing. Senior Rock is up next, and there could well be a couple of British stars heading to the Worlds as well.